okay, protection beats coverage. And so this is something like in the start of the design of the defense, this is kind of the start of it, right? Hey, is it, is, does coverage beat, beat, uh, beat protection or does, or does protection beat coverage, right? And so the, the idea is like, if all things are even, can you cover, right? Um, um, if the coverage is great and the protection is great, if it's all even, you know, does the coverage win, right? Or does the protection win? Okay, and so the, the idea with us is that you know the the the, the coverage is always going to lose, the protection wins. Okay, and so we want to affect the quarterback. And so we're talking about 2.5 to 2.7 seconds, and the ball is out. Right, if all things are even, if we're doubling all these guys and bracketing guys, right, and we the coverage is great, and we got four guys and they're great, their protection is great. We're saying they're going to win. Protection is going to beat the coverage. Okay, so what we want to do is affect the protection. And so if the O-line blocks out, simply put, we want to find a way to rush in. If the O-line blocks in, we want to find a way to rush out. Okay? And the idea there, when you get to creepers, is we want the look and the feel of a blitz, of a five-man hit, a six-man hit. We want to rush four. Now, in man, we have the ability to hug rush. And so um, we can add more. And it's going to feel like it's like it's more than a, than a four-man hit, but you, the creeper uh, thought is, hey, I want to find that weakness in the protection, right? I want to find um, where they're sliding away. I want to find where the back is blocking off an edge. I want to find where a tight end is isolated and the tackle's blocking down, right? And I want to be able to overload that guy, okay? And so it's not the idea of, you know. Um, a balanced rush per se is an idea of let's find fine point in detail this weak area and let's change the map in that spot. Okay.